Hello, everybody. How are we doing? Haven't turned on this light. So give me a minute. So it'll be a little bit brighter. Oh, I should have moved my camera. It's like a serious delay. Anyhow, hello, y'all. I am live on YouTube. I'm trying. Okay, so let me go to this. Hey, everybody. So I'm going to turn the light on. I don't have any makeup on or anything. It's just regular old me. And I decided to use my background for my page. Now, I was at one time I was using this background all the time. But it started messing up. Oh, y'all can see me. Oh, yeah. You can see me. As you can see, I got my headphones and stuff in. I'm wearing my hair short right now. Yeah, I'll put makeup on later. Whatever. We're going to do some training. We're going to do some training. I don't like how these headphones make my hair look when I wear it short. It looks cuter when I wear it long, but whatever. Y'all not gonna see much of me because I guess what? I got a handy dandy PowerPoint. I have a PowerPoint that I'm going to show you. I just popped in here just to let you all know I am here. Um, of course, I'm using this background that I don't like, but whatever. So we're, I'm gonna share my screen because we're going to my handy dandy PowerPoint. I'm going to share my screen with you. Boom, chaka laka laka, boom. <laughs> okay, so yes, we're doing a PowerPoint. Let's see how this works. This is my little cursor. This is my beautiful face. I really like it. I'm, I think I'm going to cut my hair back. Been trying to let my hair, this is extra. Been trying to let my hair grow out and stuff and not shave the sides and stuff, but I miss shaving the sides. But anyway, listen. So today I'm going to talk about how to build your life, the a Busy Women's uh, Life plan, plan. My name is Jackie McKeever, and this is actually part one, right? Part one. Hello, everybody. It's me, Jackie McKeever. Um, Y'all see me earlier. It's a lot easier to just be behind this PowerPoint. I can see, y'all can see my PowerPoint. I'm doing a little teaching. Sometimes I can actually do it from the corner where there's more light and you can see my beautiful face, but you can still see my face because I plastered it on the PowerPoint. Anyway. Ah, la, 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 la. Okay. So hello, my name is Jackie McKeever of WW. Just just say JackieMcKeever.com and it doesn't. So www.JackieMcKeever.com, aka the coaching consultant is me. Okay, so I what do I do? So what I just a little bit about me and what I do is I'm a speaker, a best-selling off, uh, author. I'm a business consultant, a podcast of a victory podcast with Jackie. I'm also a foodie. So you may follow me on social media. I might talk about the foods that I want to cook, the food that I'm eating, how I enjoy, how excited I get about food, which makes me a foodie. But one of the things that's important to you is I help busy women. Um, I help them with, I help busy small business owners get organized and win government contracts. Now, this training is not about government contracts, but if you'd like to get more training on government contracts, you simply go to the link tree link. Um, 
that's put on the uh, PowerPoint, the link, link tree forward slash route to victory or L-I-N-K-T-R dot double E four slash route to victory. Just to let you know how I do the things that I do, because this page is all de uh, all devoted to the busy women, um, because my goal is to help you uh, with your personal development or self-development, your finance and your business, right? So we're going to talk about entrepreneurship right now. This whole session is about um, personal development. At least today, we're going to talk about personal development. We're going to talk about, um, I'm going to give you more information as the PowerPoint. This is going to be a short presentation. But anyway, how I do what I do is I provide training, uh, self-study courses, strategies, assistance, and accomplishing tasks through consultation. And I do a coaching, which is why I be. I call myself, sometimes you might hear me refer to myself as a life and business coach. Sometimes you may hear me refer to myself as just a business or coaching consultant. Listen, all you have to know, do is know that I'm here. I have plenty of services and things available for you. Just go to my link tree link and check me out or go straight to my web page www.jackiemckeever.com okay before we move on to this training i want to encourage you to support more trainings like this and some of my other training if you've been encouraged if you've been inspired if you have been motivated to move to do something different in your life or if you've gotten some edutainment, that is education and entertainment. What you want to do is support your girl by one of my t-shirts. This is just one example of a t-shirt I have on, and I'm going to show you my t-shirt or try to show you my t-shirt. I'm going to stand up. That's so, oh, it's not showing because I got this background. Oh, poo. Anyway. I guess I'm too close to it. Anyway, that's the word T. That's the word T. You can see it. That's the word T. I told y'all I stopped using this background because it was messing up. At first, you could see me. I could see you. And it didn't. I move around when I talk, right? It helps me express what I'm saying, right? So... Some days you're going to see me with this background because I like this background. I may just get me uh, some wallpaper or something up with that poster in the back because I like to see that poster. Um, that poster is the is on my YouTube channel. This is just extra information, y'all. I'm going to get to the lesson. But anyway, as you can see, my colors are green, pink, white, and black. And I love those colors, right? But I really love this background right here because um, the pigs uh, represent where I'm originally from. I'm originally from Arkansas. I like things to be pretty and pretty and put together and just flow with one another. Um, what you don't see in here is the phone because I literally make money with my voice. And on the side, you hear the, the, this is the headphones, you know, I have the headphones in here because I create trainings and stuff for people just like you. And I'm an author. You see the little words right here. And I just get things done. This is like a, a the planner and I like things to flow and be pretty and timely. You see the watch. And so, and there's the pen. You need the pen so you can sign the contracts. And I just think that this background picture perfectly describes who I am. And that's just extra information. But anyway, let's move on to this training. So make sure you support me by going to bit.ly forward slash. That's the word T and purchase your T-shirt for just $20. All right. So what have I done in my career to make me an expert to even talk to you about the crap or the stuff, I shouldn't call it crap, that I talk to you about? Child, 
look at me when I tell you I've done a lot. Like when I was writing this or originally writing this, I'm just going to give y'all the tea. Okay. Cause we friends, we cool. Okay. When I was first writing this, um, sometimes I put makeup on when I come on. Sometimes I don't, that's, that's an extra. I'm going to I'm going to try my best not to get distracted. Generally, when I do a paid training, I'm like, two, 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 two. It's very entertaining, but everything that I give you is important. And you have to listen to the end to really understand the importance of everything that I just gave you. Okay. So I'm giving you information before I begin the story. Okay. So my expertise are in business management, planning, government contracts. I teach, I coach, and I provide consultations. So the key areas are business, helping you achieve your business goals, your business plan, managing your life with your business, client attraction, market research, overcoming beliefs. You don't know how many people have came to me and how many people have been inspired by listening to my training, by following me, by paying for products, um, products just and motivated to create a business um, and motivated to overcome their limiting beliefs because they discovered that the biggest defense or the biggest um, uh, thing that's keeping them back from achieving their goals is them. But anyway, so I help people overcome their limiting beliefs toward life, toward finance, toward business, and of course, toward women in contracts. You know, I do this by providing courses, consultations, coaching to help you win, okay? It's my goal to help you win because if we're not working toward a goal, what's the point, okay? The things that I've done in my, in my career is I've restructured department, restructured uh, department section, trained managers, supervisors, managed budgets over $5 million, got employees back focused on departmental goal, got management focused on the goals of the natures of the business, provided strategies to help departmental goals, change the look of departments. Um, I went from being a contracting representative to a contracting specialist. So I literally help businesses get government contract. But the only different thing, difference is now I'm doing from the outside sector. Then I did it as um, a, a government official. So anyway, so now I help entrepreneurs, female entrepreneurs uh, get organized and win. So my strategic methods are for people who are ready to invest in training. Okay, for more, make sure you follow me on my social media platforms. Um, my YouTube is bit.ly forward slash Jackie's YouTube. My, uh, I actually have a couple of Facebook and Facebook and Instagram, but the main page you could follow me on Instagram is route the number two victory or um, on Facebook, the Jackie McKeever. Anyway, we got that preliminary stuff out. Let's get in. Let's get focused in this training because I won't be long. That's me in a nutshell. Um, I summed it up and just gave you a little tidbit. This is how I look like up close a little, just a little foundation, a little lip gloss, and I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Keep things simple and move, move it out. This is another reminder I have in here about my t-shirt. Make sure you support your girl, buy a t-shirt, go to bit.ly forward slash. That's the word T. All right. So let's get into this training. One of the reasons I'm just going to be straight up front. I'm going to let y'all see me again. I'm going to be straight up front with you all. One of the things, one of the reasons why I'm posting this is it's a preview. It's a preview of the challenge that I'm doing, um, not just for you, but for me too, right? Because 
you know, during my work, 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 I got so exhausted that I needed to refresh myself. I needed to do something different. So I decided to like throw away my business plan and create another one, right? So in doing this, I said, okay, why am I doing this? I'm doing this because I want to rush to the greater me in, in this point in time. And some of the things that I had for this year did not work for the person that I actually became. Because some of the things that I threw in my, in my plan, I really threw them in there and I didn't know that they were going to come to uh, come they were going to manifest themselves. I was hoping that they manifest themselves, but I was like surprised. I was like, okay, Jesus, y'all, I'm a believer in God too. I was like, okay, Jesus, listen, I'm throwing this out. I'm throwing this line out. I'm putting this bait on this fish and I'm throwing this line out, right? I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not going to worry about it. It is not going to be my problem. It's going to be your problem, Lord. And Hey, so that changed my life. But anyway, so today's lesson is how to rebuild your life. This is a busy women's life plan, basically we're talking about. But in this um, Rush to Greatness Challenge, it's a three-day free training. And it's not on Facebook. It's on Zoom. So to sign up, and you should sign up, it's from March the 16th through the 19th. It's absolutely free. And this gives you, the reason why we're doing this training today, it gives you a little sneak peek of what you're, what you're in store for. So what we'll talk about, we'll be talking about what you want your, look, your life to look. Today, we're going to be talking about a little bit about what you want your life to look at, like in eight areas. Let me say it again, because I got really tongue tied. We're going to talk about what you want your life to look like in eight areas. We don't have, um, I'm not going to be with you all at two hours or hour and a half. I'm going to keep it pretty. Okay. I'm going to keep it short. Okay. And we're going to just focus on one and a half of, of the eight elements, but on day one of the challenge, we're going to focus on, um, So for the three-day challenge, we're going to focus on all eight areas. So day one, it's uh, going to be about self-development. Day two is going to be mainly focused. Not that we're going to not talk about it on the other areas, but our main focus is finance on day two. And then day three is going to be about our business, okay? Whatever our business is, we're going to make that thing happen, okay? We're, but we put everything together. Well, I put everything together because we're going to rush into greatness. We're taking the breaks off our lives and rushing toward the things that we want because we've realized that something has to break. Okay, the, we have to remove the, the, the blocks in our life. We got to get to the point where we're, we stop feeling like giving up. We've got to get to the point where we need, where we're ready for a clear sign. This is going to be our clear sign. I mean, even the Bible tells you to write the vision and make it plain so those that can see it know what to do. Okay. And okay. So anyway, let's move on. Okay. Like I said, today, we're going to focus on one and a half area. Now I want to tell you all something about me when I'm talking about something. Sometimes I like to highlight it in big areas right here. Sometimes I like to put a line on it. Right now, I decided to put a line in the two areas we're going to focus on a little bit tonight because I want you to see that there's eight areas, but we're not going to talk about them in this platform. If you want to plan and work toward a plan in all eight areas right here, you want to get into this free challenge. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. 
brainstorming, brainstorming. What is the big idea? What is your big dream? Okay. In this area, we're going to dream big. Okay. So I'm going to go over, I'm just going to talk briefly about the eight areas. So there's eight areas. There's spirituality, spirituality, and this plan we're talking about, we're going to talk about faith, what we believe, our mindset. Okay. We're not really focused um, uh, on the three day rush to greatness challenge. We're not really focused on um, whether we want to be a part of religion, but just the way our mindset, the things that we do, we believe and trying to get in alignment with where we say we want to be. And we're using our, our dreams. We're taking our dreams and we're building upon our dreams because what we want to do is take our dreams and make them into goals. Okay. So the personal growth and development, anything that you do affects your personal growth and development. I don't care if it's building a high wall, a high, high building in China, or whether it is simply cleaning off your desk. It affects your personal development because anything that affects you affects your personal growth and development. I mean, I can't say that any simpler than that relationships. Okay. There's all types of relationships, right? Once you feel, once you figure out what your mindset and what your belief or what your faith is, it actually, uh, opens the, removes the veil and tells you what relationships you have with the eight things. All these eight things align with one another there. It's impossible to have growth in one area without it affecting the other areas, right? So when we get into creating a life plan or a business plan or whatever plan you want to call this journey toward greatness, I'm gonna call it a greatness plan. It's when you have to understand, we're going to talk, we have to talk about the relationship, the relationship with your belief, the relationship with your development, the relationship with your career and business, the relationship with having fun or having recre recreation in your life, your relationship with money, your relationship with your family or your home life or your lifestyle, period, your relationship with health the way you feel, because everything is affected. Okay, so in the challenge, we're going to talk about money. Okay, because listen, I'm not telling you to uh, chase money. Okay, but I'm telling you to get some money. Get you some money because you got bills to pay. If you want to pay if you want to live the life that you want you, you want to live, it takes money to do that. I'm not saying to be money hungry, but you need to be hungry for the life that you want. Because when you're hungry, you work hard to achieve the things that you want. So get hungry for that life. Okay, so family life or home life. I'm gonna, we're gonna focus on that in the next slide. Health. So some of us are getting older. I'm 46 years old. I'm not getting any younger. So there's some things that I'm working out for my health, right? I want to be stronger. I don't want my knees to hurt when um, I do things. I don't want it to be cold. When it gets cold, I don't want my body to ache. What things can I do? All that affects my health. I mean, how I think, how I feel, everything goes together. Okay, here we are. Our first thing, y'all. Listen, family or home life. Okay, so I put these two together because I want you to really dream big and think about how you would like your life to be at home. 
Okay. And the reason why it's a home life is not like the outdoors, you know, because sometimes when we go outside, we have to transform. We have to transform to meet whatever need we're going out there to meet. You know, we can't be uh, our regular everyday selves all the time when we go out our doors. So our home life is who we are really are underneath the makeup. Okay. So that brings me to why I don't have any makeup. You need to see where we're focusing on the real us underneath the makeup, underneath the foundation, underneath the lip gloss, underneath the lashes, underneath the eyeliner, the eyebrow, whatever makeup, underneath the wig, which I don't have a wig on today, but whatever. Underneath everything, who you naturally are. Okay, so in this section, what we do is we ask ourselves questions. The first question is, how do you how do you want your home to feel? Now, this is not focused on your husband, your boyfriend, significant other, your girlfriend, your wife, uh, your your kids. How do you personally want your home to feel for you? So when I wrote that or revisited that, um, so to these answers can be put on, these answers can be put, because oftentimes, I will take this and I will put the, these answers on a PowerPoint because not a PowerPoint, but a, a spreadsheet so that I can further develop and, and I can see my answers. But you can put them on whatever you can put it on a notebook or whatever, but you should answer this. You don't have to answer to me, but you should give yourself an answer. Now, for me, I want my home to feel free. I want it to feel at peaceful. I want it to feel like I can rest. I want to feel, I want my home to feel safe. I want my home to feel safe. And I'm going to say it again. For me, I want my home to feel safe. I want it to feel loving. I want it to feel like me. So the next question is, how do you want to feel when you walk through the door. And it may seem like, didn't I already answer the question? Sometimes we had to answer a question twice because you need to dig a little deeper. Okay, so when you open up the door, we we going outside the house. This is, the first one was like, when you're in the house, these are the things that I wanted to feel. So when I opened up the door, I want to feel like I belong here. I want to feel like I belong there. Wherever I'm at, I want to feel like this is my home. This is where I belong. Like, this isn't temporary. So with the next question, is what do you wish your guests would think about your home when they come over? I want them to think, first of all, I want them to think this is Jackie home and they got to get the hell out of here when she say, when she get ready to go to bed. (laughs) Oh, gee. No, I want 
people to feel comfortable when they come over, to feel the same way I feel, like it's a safe haven. It's a place that they can have fun, that they can laugh and just be they self. They don't have to put on a fake act when they come over. What are the top three words you would use to describe the way you want your home to feel? Now, if you went through and you're honest with yourself, you, you'll be able to uh, answer those three words. So three words I picked up just doing this with you all. Number one, safe. Number two, fun. Okay, that's number two. And number three, a need to belong. You want to feel like it represents, I want to feel like it represents me. That was deep, y'all. So I'm going to give you a moment. Just go through and answer the questions. Maybe I should set the timer. Hey, Google. <laughs> I like Google. We, enter, we own Google, so I'm going to use Google. Google's going to be my assistant. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Set the timer for 60 seconds. According to Wikipedia, 60 Seconds is an action-adventure video game developed and published by Polish So we have the timer. Ugh, I should have got rid of this background. The timer set for 60 seconds. I know y'all can't see this but you can see my phone or some object is set for 60 seconds. I'll give y'all 60 seconds to do it. Wish I had some music playing. Let me not distract you all. Go ahead and do it. Cause we have, I'm viewing the timer. Nine seconds left. All right, time is up. We're moving right along. Okay, so we're back on family life. The questions are a little bit different. Um, but not a whole lot different. So the first question is, what do you dislike about your home right now? That was a deep question for me. Okay, so many of you all don't know this, but I recently moved. And this is the first time, you know, because Okay, so me and my boyfriend moved to, moved in together, or I moved in with him, whatever you want to call it. So this is actually the first time I've done something like that. Yes, I'm 46 years old, and I've never moved in with a boyfriend. So, um, yeah, it was different because um, it, I've moved before, and every time I moved, I always went into an empty space. So this was an already established, already busy home. So one of the things I, I dislike about the current home 
that I'm able to change is I don't like the fact that I still have boxes I have to put up. When I focus on the why yet at this point. So you don't have to put why until we get to the point where you want to say why. But if you cannot help yourself, you can say why you feel like that. But I want you to kind of hold that feeling, hold it inside, and we can elaborate further when we get to the why. Okay, this uh, part is basically the revelation part. We are realizing what's going on in our current situation, what we like what we would want people to feel, what we dislike. And we're being honest with ourselves. So the next question is, how do you want, how do you want, how do you think people feel when they walk through the front door? That's a good question. So when, okay, I haven't moved here, lived here very long. So in my head, I said, well, to answer this question, let me pretend like uh, the people who I'm thinking about are my kids. Like when they walk through the door, I want them to not think that uh, they at the wrong house. <laughs> because they don't see anything of me that's deep they don't um they see boxes because right now in the living room there are boxes so how do i think people feel if you walked in a house uh, with boxes and stuff like they're being packed, either somebody moving out or somebody moving in. I would not want them to think that I don't live here. I think they think they would think if they seen the boxes, they would think or feel like she must have been a, she must be about to she must I'm a I'm this is Ebonic y'all. Where's she going? She going somewhere because. She still got all these boxes. So how do I think people feel when they walk through the front door is she not settled yet. She hasn't settled in yet. What do you, uh, what would you Ooh, so there's typos right there. Right here it says, what do you had when guests come over? <laughs> what do you do? What would, what would you do if you had guests come over? Y'all, I am going to change that typo. I won't do it right now, but it's supposed to say, what would you do if you had a guest come over? And the reason why for that question is just to have you imagine if you had a guest come over right now, what would you do? Well, first of all, I would have to move some boxes so they'd have a place to sit because I have a, lots of boxes. Um, so I went from a house downsized to an apartment. Now I'm back at a house again. And I told you the house has already had people there. So I would be feeling rush to um, find them a seat, make them feel like it's okay for you to come over, that they not in the way. What are the top three words would you describe the things that you don't like about your home? 
My current home, three things. I don't like that I still have boxes to unpack. Okay, so I don't like the boxes. Um, I don't like that uh, unsettled. Because the boxes are there. And see, I'm saying the why, and it's not even supposed to be the why. So I'm telling you, it's a challenge. You have to hold the why. So, um, three words unsettling. Anxious. Unfamiliar. I think I would describe it those. I'll, it, those three words. That anxious or anxiety, whatever. Um, unsettling. Unsettled. And unfamiliar. Okay, so in this section, we're, we're going a little bit deeper and we just talk about just your life period. What are some things that interest you? So some things that interest me uh, are plants. I'm starting to grow uh, my tomato plants. I want a vegetable garden because I'm interested, in not just any plants, but vegetables, because I want to be able to grow something and eat, feast off the things that I'm growing. So that's one interest. I'm passionate about teaching. I love to teach. I'm passionate about creating new things. Passionate about learning new things or discovery. If money or time wasn't an issue, oh, wait a minute, y'all, we gotta go back because I forgot to give you the minute so that uh, you can do the dislike. I apologize, let me go back. I got ahead of myself. We are almost done for today's training. Hey, Google, set the timer for 60 seconds. Let's do that again. Hey, Google, set the timer for 60 seconds. Next page. Google is not talking to me today. And the timer is not running. Oh, it is running. 32 seconds. I'm up. Okay. I wish I had my little secretary here. She could keep the timer. Okay. So this is about your life. How do you want your life to look like? So um, earlier was focused, the earlier slides was focused on the home the way we want the home to appear, 
right? It was supposed to bring some revelation to your uh, your personal life, the way you want your personal life to look. Um, so how do I want my personal life to look? See, in my head, I'm still focusing on the boxes. I got to start moving when I finish this training. Oh, so for me, um, I would like to grow my channel. You know, I would like to be able to do little trainings at least once a month um, on YouTube because uh, I like to provide training and educational tools. I like to be able to do more education, um, more than I already do, um, to more viewers just like you, both on social media and off of social media. Um, how do you want to feel or think When people talk to you, I want a, them to feel like they've came to the right person, that my advice is great and they're willing to invest in it. That's what I want. They see the great value in the advice or the information that I'm giving them and they want more. I want them to develop a hunger for it. What do you want the world, what do you want the world, there's another typo. It's supposed to say, what do you want the world to know about you? I want to, the world to know that I have skills and talents available and for them to invest in the products and services that I have so I can do more of what I love for more people. That I'm a resource. What are the top three words you would describe your current life? My current life is calm. Steady. The third word would I describe? And can I say poised? Poised. I think I'd say poise to describe my three words. So I'm going to give you all 60 seconds so that you all can do it. Hey, Google, set the timer for 60 seconds. Timer is going. Go ahead and answer the question. This part wasn't that hard, but you can write it as much as you want. Um, if it's your life, you can focus on the on the money you want. If you want to have two hundred dollars a year, just whatever. If you want a two story house with a three uh, car garage you want all your debts paid you want to be married whatever you want your life you write it right here honey no judgment because this section is all about you time's up moving on to the next section okay so this is more about your life. What things interest you? If you had, if money was not an issue, uh, what would you do more often? So I already mentioned that uh, 
I'd be planting. I like plants, um, vegetables. Uh, I like teaching. I like consulting. I like coaching. I like when people get a revelation when I give them tools and resources. I love that. I love having an answer to problems. I like making things flow. So if money or time was not an issue, child, I would be doing way more. I would be traveling doing it. I'd be doing um, international meeting, more international meetings with people overseas. Um, helping them solve the same problems and using a lot of my past experience more of my because I have so many stories to tell and so many things to offer I'd be doing it more often I'd have a huge garden like I'd have a big garden like Oprah y'all would y'all know how y'all see on Oprah magazine sometimes she'll show her garden she'll show the vegetables or whatever she bring out of her garden y'all would see more of that I'd have a huge garden like I'd have a lot more a whole bunch of land for my garden um I'd have a way bigger house um I'd go outside um, on a patio more. When you were a child, what did you dream about? That's an easy question for me. It's not easy for everybody. Sometimes you have to think about it. But for me, when I was a child, the things, okay, so when I was a child, there was two things that I wanted. I wanted children, check, got them. Um... And I wanted to join the service. Now, I didn't join the service because when I had children first, I could not imagine them growing up a day and me not seeing their development. Like if I had it to do it over again, I probably would have joined the service first a few years and then uh, had children afterwards. And just because, uh, and the only reason why I would change the order is because that way I'd be able to check both of my boxes. But one great thing is my, I'm a military mom and I actually worked for, I used to work for the VA a long time, a while ago. Um, so I actually got to work with people that serve people. And, and you know, if, I, I, I'm appreciative of my experiences, some of my experiences, whether they're good or bad. And I know I'm babbling. I'm not even supposed to give you all this until we get to the why part. Um, but I would be doing more, more of that. Three words to describe the way you wish your life. You, the way you wish your life. This, the three word, three top words, you would use to describe the way you wish your life was. And I'm going to clean up this this, uh, PowerPoint (laughs) because I did it in a hurry. I didn't proofread. There's a bunch of typos. Hey, I do typos. I just keep on moving, you know, um, on the PowerPoints, but it'll be straightened out. But anyway, three top words. Um, It's, it's more uh, a description. Because right now, the only thing that I would want in my life right now that's different. Um, it's I would like more plants, <laughs> more vegetable plants. I would like to be able to travel more and connect with more people more internationally and maybe nationally um (laughs) 
I would like to do more fun stuff. <laughs> so I don't know if those are descriptions, but those are the things that I want to do. So I'm going to give you all the description. I mean, excuse me, 60 seconds on the top clock. I said on the top, on the clock to answer. Hopefully y'all were writing down answer as I was doing it. So I smell bacon, y'all. Mm, ready to eat. <laughs> This is almost over. We actually went longer than I thought we were gonna go. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. We got one more section and then we'll be done. I didn't go really, really fast with this because I want you to have, um, to be able to do this as we walk through. And the reason why I'm asking the questions because I want you to know it's okay for you to be human. It's okay for you to be vulnerable. But all this is important, that's the timer. All this is important when you are developing a life plan or a business plan. Um, because, and this is the stuff that a, a lot of coaches or a lot of people may not tell you about. And then you make the mistake and you jump into something that you really didn't want and you really don't give a dang about. But this is where the personal development comes from. How would you change your home if you had money or time it was not an issue? How would you change things? So one thing I would have changed is before I moved in this space, I probably would have got rid of some things um, so that I wouldn't cause clutter because I feel like I feel more free when I have more space. That's the why. I'm just giving y'all a little extra. Um. How would these changes make you feel when you walk through the door? It would make me feel like I belong here. It would make me feel settled. It would make me feel happy. It would make me look forward to walking in and out of my door. How oh, do you wish guests would think what would what do you what do you wish guests would think about your home when they come come over after this change that this is a beautiful home that yeah i could see jackie living here i see jackie all over the place that hey we can have fun we can be ourselves This is kind of cool. What are the top three emotions you would use to describe how you feel? How you would feel. It says fail. <laughs> That's supposed to be feel. That's another typo. How would you like your home to feel? So this is a reflection on the, the answers you had at the beginning. So the top three things I pulled out or three emotions were uh, happy, there's that word feeling belong, feeling like I belong, which makes you question worthiness, right? Um, settled. So I'm going to give y'all 60 seconds. Well, I'm going to give you 30 seconds because we're almost done. Y'all can always go back and, hey, Google, set the timer for 30 seconds.
you can always go back and listen to this because we're almost done. And don't worry, when I do the rush to, uh, rush to greatness, I plan on doing, giving some pre-homework so it won't be so timely and we can focus on the changes. Okay, time's up. All right, so I told y'all it's gonna be as short as I can make it. That's the last PowerPoint. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you until we meet again. Um, my next video will be up. Um, I'll be doing a live on Monday. So I'll talk to you guys Monday. Thank you for listening to me. You all have a, a wonderful weekend. Bye.